Since getting into cycling in a more serious capacity, I have had one single goal. It's not winning the Tour de France because that is never going to happen. It has quite simply been to get my FTP over 4 watts kg. And I'm pretty sure this might be something that you guys can relate to, having a particular performance related goal that's just kind of outside of competition and just very based on your own personal objectives. Now, I do love training and I love talking about it. And guys, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I do actually have a coach. We're gonna hear from him in a second. I will admit, I have up until now been a terrible person to coach for the simple reason I haven't always wanted to let the confines of sticking to a training plan get in the way of having fun and just enjoying my cycling. Dylan Johnson, bro, what's with all the training? Come ride with the boys, smash a couple of Zwift races, and I'm pretty sure you'll get into the top 10. So this is it. I'm setting out my stall and the plan is to hit four watts per kg. And in a second, I'm gonna have you listen to what my coach has to say about helping me, a guy who's in his early 40s, I'll be 42 this summer, who wants to reach that threshold of four watts kg. Up until now, I've just been riding my bike, I've been having fun, I've been doing things that push me, but I haven't been sticking to a rigid training routine. First thing first though, guys, we are going to have to do a dreaded FTP test. So let's get that one out of the way. So you will see from my Zwift ramp test where it came out at 270, I have fallen from grace. I have got close to that four watts per kg last year, and then this year it has just kind of gone to pot and it's down to a few things. Now my coach will talk you through some zone-based stuff and how we're gonna structure our plan to get me back up and hopefully over that four watt per kg threshold but the important thing for him to know is where I'm at now so he knows where to set these zones. I think I've lost a lot of fitness or certainly the high-end fitness and guys, I will say there was maybe not sandbagging, but I think I was just a bit tired going into that FTP test and I don't think it was my best performance, but nonetheless, I'm just more than happy to fit it in and use that as a starting point. But part of the reason I think that I have dropped off a little bit is just due to the type of riding and events that I've been doing. I haven't done a Zwift race in months, so that high intensity intervals of like 20 to 30 minutes just completely disappeared. I was doing the Tuesday night smash rides, but they would usually be four or five minutes really intense, go past my threshold, and then I just fall off, and then that wasn't really much of a session. So the endurance rides that I have been doing, and the endurance runs, the Thames Path 100 miler, the Tenerife 100K up a volcano, also the Mizuno UK Ekiden race that also ended up being a 100K gravel ride as well. I've just been doing too much of that kind of nothing style, just riding my bike. I haven't been getting any interval work or strength work and I am bracketing interval, interval stuff into the strength stuff. Um, so I haven't really been keeping my fitness at a level where uh, I actually want to get to. Also, I think that I was just doing too much and ultimately my being in my 40s, my immune system, my central nervous system started to struggle a little bit and I was getting a lot of fatigue because I was doing just way too much volume and not focusing on the quality of the cycling that I was doing. So here's Ivan as he takes you through the way that he's gonna structure my training so that I can get my FTP over that four watts per kg mark. And I am glad that I am starting from where I am at the moment because it means that hopefully I can make gains that are very identifiable. 
So Ivan's gonna take you through some zone-based conversations now, but please bear in mind that this is a very generic conversation, not even 100% applicable to me. Just the way that he would look at things, and earlier in his conversation that I haven't included, he does talk about how you have to take in the particulars of the person that you are trying to coach, especially things like lifestyle, uh, how many hours per week they are able to train, obviously the age and their ability. So there are certain guides to these things and rules, and then you can build something that is particular to one individual person. So if you are stuck on increase your FTP, it happens. Um, so usually how we do, we use uh, three weeks of building and one week uh, recovering. In those weeks you're gonna schedule as much as you have time, do some intervals, and we use uh, the rules of 80 20. Uh, 80% will be lower intensity, endurance, uh, recovering rides, and 20% on high intensity. That you're gonna schedule and you're gonna build on those three weeks. This uh, includes tempo zone, zone three, treasure zone, zone four, uh, VO2 max zone five, and anaerobic capacity zone six. So yeah, that's uh, how you build, uh, how you're gonna start doing this. Uh, usually to see improvements on your, uh, on your performance takes a while, especially if you are coming from stuck on your train. So you have to get some time to build, to see the increase. And how we always say sometimes you're gonna step back to have a good jump, okay? So sometimes I think, oh, but 80% of the time endurance, yeah, it's, it's a lot. No, it is what you need. If you see the science behind today, uh, most of the cyclists spend a lot of time on endurance. But of course, they have a lot of time to train. For instance, if you spend more than two minutes, three minutes on anaerobic capacity, on zone six, means that your FTP should be high. So it's, your FTP is underestimated. So you have to update, you have to see, you have to look at the numbers. That's why we use training peaks and we use WKO5 to have those numbers always up to date and give you the most accurate FTP in you then you have the most accurate zones of training. Your numbers that are super important to build those zones of training need to be up to date. With all that chat about zone-based training, the important thing is, is that he now has some numbers to work around and knowing what my FTP is around that 270 mark gives him a good idea of where we can start. So my downfall has actually been that I enjoy riding my bike. And weirdly enough, Jesse and Chris spoke about this on the Nero show literally this week, where they talk about the sacrifices that you have to make to get over four watts per kg, especially someone, well, they didn't say my age or me or me in particular, but they were talking about how there are certain sacrifices. And sometimes that comes uh, certainly at the expense of actually enjoying some of your cycling. I wanted to enjoy my summer and I have very much enjoyed it. I now want to get on the train of enjoying training for something. So that's the plan. And hopefully I can put together a training plan and keep you guys up to date so that we can get over that four watts per kg threshold. And I thought it would be useful to you to hear what Ivan has to say about how he's gonna start structuring things uh, on my behalf. It certainly seems like most of the cycling that I have done over the course of this loosely turned summer that we have had in the UK has been very much in the middle ground. I've been going too hard on the easy days and not hard enough on the hard days. Everything has been structured in the middle and I have paid the price. But with a bit of structured training and some interval sessions, I've got no doubt that we will get back up there. But let's not neglect the nutrition side of things. 
Jesse and Chris definitely talk about it, and that is the effect that doing more volume and intensity on your body can have. You know, it is just more stressful. It's harder, it's harder in every sense. So fueling that and eating correctly is gonna be a big emphasis. And something that I haven't done is actually pay enough attention to refueling after my sessions, because ultimately I don't really feel like I've been doing a huge amount. I've just been going out and riding my bike uh, and just enjoying it with the boys. And there is nothing wrong with that. Guys, hopefully this is gonna be a fun journey because last year I started from almost nothing and then got to a certain point. This time my start point is higher. So hopefully with a bit of dedication and some structure, and that is 100% the key thing is the structure, I am gonna be able to get over that kind of glorious four, four watt per kg threshold. Um, and really there is, it is so arbitrary. <laughs> Marathons are arbitrary, 26.2 miles. Trying to ride 100 miles in four or five hours is just arbitrary goals. And that four watts per kg is certainly an arbitrary goal, but it's one that I am certainly willing to give a crack. Um, for nothing else that because every day I get older, it might be my last chance. <laughs> Guys, hopefully I will see you on another one. If you do, or if you are interested, please do like and subscribe. I will see you on another one soon.